our data models were always, um, you know, really valuable because they give you such a quick summary of what concepts are are really supported. You know, it's kind of like the bottom line of of what's down there inside that solution. Okay, hello everyone. I am here with Bill Hoke who is a principal data modeler here at Salesforce. We are in for a treat because data modeler or principal data modeler, that sounds pretty cool. What kind of stuff do you work on day to day, Bill? Well, the mission of our team is to make sure that our entities are well designed and that they integrate well with our existing entities. And so we have a mix of work. Some of it's hands on actually meeting with product owners and developers to create models. Um, we also document patterns that we consider to be best practices so that our internal teams can follow those. And, and um, we create, we lead the creation of the diagrams that are on the Salesforce Architect Gallery. Right, right. And so we're, we're quite busy. Uh, it's all good, <laughs> though. There's lots of interesting data modeling work for us to do. What kind of advice could you give to architects so that they can maybe create more well-architected data models? Yeah, you know, the one thing that we try to encourage the most is that people use what's there possibly can because we spend a lot of time, you know, designing these entities uh, to serve our customers well. Uh, we work closely with product owners on where the product is going, and you know, we we try to get it right. Um, and so, you know, try to try to find out what's out there and, and use it if you can. Any anti patterns that you could point out for our listeners? I think the first thing that comes to mind for me is is regarding process. You know, your own process of you know, don't take requirements at face value in a narrow context in a hurry. Slow down. Try to take a deeper look at what your customer wants. Take a broader view. Consider future use cases. And in that process, you know, try to take a look at the names and the descriptions and ask yourself and, you know, your, your customers, do they really reflect what this entity represents, is going to represent in the future? And that just that doing that homework will save you time in the future. What is maybe one of the, the things that you've sort of brought to life or maybe introduced to the platform that you are most proud of or was maybe the most fun to work on? Well, I've done a lot of work on the public data model, which has been a great privilege because um, obviously uh, public sector work goes for the common good of the public, um, both in, ter well, in terms of governments and governmental work. And some of that is social welfare based. So it has this really compelling application, you know, for helping people. And uh, it's an area in which I've gotten to work closely with the product owners. And that's been a lot of fun because you get to hear more about the requirements and get deeper into it. That's very cool. So if folks are interested in learning more about best practices with data modeling, maybe some optimization, where can architects go to learn more? I guess my favorite part of the um, public facing website right now, of course, is the architect gallery um, with, with all of the models we've been working hard to do. Um, I think back to my own time uh, working in IT, you know, in, in data modeling or data architecture departments where we were trying really hard to understand the products that we were purchasing and trying to put to use for our customers. And for me, data modelers were, or data models were always, um, you know, really valuable because they give you such a quick summary of what concepts are, are really supported. You know, it's kind of like the bottom line of, of what's down there inside that solution. And uh, it's just a very quick way to learn uh, what's, what's there and what you can leverage. That's great. That's great. And I also hear that you are going to be joining us at Trailblazer DX for a session on Architect's Guide to Data Model Optimization. And I think that one's on day two of Trailblazer DX. So definitely be on the lookout for that session if you're gonna join us in person. And if you are going to be joining us online, this is one of the very special sessions that we're going to be broadcasting on Salesforce Plus as well. So definitely check that out too. And with that, thank you so much, Bill, for joining me today and can't wait to see you in San Francisco. Likewise, looking forward to it. Thank you.